I ran out of ideas probably 30 years ago, really. Ideas of something to compose. Mm -hmm. uh, occasionally, I have a scrap of an idea and I'll write it down. But mostly, uh, in the last 20, 25 years, I, I begin with a blank piece of paper. And, and zero inspiration. I mean, I have the inspiration that I know I'm gonna, I want to compose something. I start, it's very similar to architecture. I start with a blank piece of paper and I start making basic decisions. How long is it going to be? What's the band? What's the instrumentation? Um, and then, is it tonal? What key is it in? Should there be modulations? What's the groove? Is it, is it swing jazz? Is it funky? Is it more classical? Is it really modern? All these kind of decisions I can make in about 30 seconds. And once I have a tempo and I know the source material, then I start to hear it. And then I start to sketch. It's just empty measures, but beginning to end. So the piece is mapped out, literally mapped out, like an empty template with all the bars, any kind of harmonic reference that I might have or other cue, you know, cues or what I might use here or there. And then I start filling it in. And it's not necessarily from the first bar. I might start anywhere. And sometimes I... I compose the most complex uh, area of the piece in a big band that would be called maybe a shout chorus. Maybe do that first, and then from that material, I pull everything, I pull things out, and and and, and uh, place it different places in the, in the piece. So, uh, you know, one of the inner melodies that you don't really hear in this more complex area can be the principal melody somewhere else, before or after. That's cool.